Here at HLP Controls, we often get asked which is the best way to calibrate or, or check the calibration of a range of thermometers. Now, it's important to check the calibration of thermometers regularly, as required by the Australian Food Standards and many other standards. Now, the best way to do that, that we've found, and it's low cost and is accepted by most authorities, is the ice slurry. Now, an ice slurry is made up out of 70% ice and 30% water. You can see this is an ice slurry that we prepared earlier and it is in a jug so that you can see it. It's just ice with some water. If we just move the thermometer around you can see that it's mostly ice. So it's not just a few cubes of ice floating in a sea of water. It's 70% it's ice, 30% water. That is a true ice slurry. Now ice melts at zero degrees C so whatever we do if you've got to make it mostly ice and then just get the melting point. So when we check a thermometer in this ice slurry, it should indicate uh, approximately zero degrees C. Now this, uh, have a look at this unit we have here, and it's um, indicating 0.3 of a degree, so that's well within its uh, accuracy tolerance of plus or minus one degree.